Welcome back to Reese Pieces. I'm here to show you all the stitchy stuff I've been working on in this last month. And I have quite a bit to share, actually, so let's get started. So I actually didn't think that I had done that much this month because I have been like busy doing other life things. Um, I feel like I need to take care of my house and do spring cleaning and getting uh, seeds started for the garden. And we've been actually driving around and looking at um, land and um, other properties because we're hoping to get some more space. So I just didn't think that I had really spent that much time cross-stitching this last month. But I guess because it's been a little while since my last video, I have more than I thought. So I have that and I have some new bags for you guys. I have some finishes and a little bit of haul. Some fun stuff came in and there was a sale that I jumped on. And I also started a new little craft that's also taking some of my time. So I have lots to share and I hope you uh, stick around for my video and you enjoy. If you like my video, um, give it a, a thumbs up because I think that like helps the algorithm to help other people find me. And subscribe so you see my next videos and leave a comment and tell me your favorite um, thing or just watch and stitch and enjoy. So anyways, glad you're here. Let's get started. First, I will start with my finishes. So I showed you in the past that I had made some little pillows from a, Pim a Primrose Cottage um, pattern. The My paper is all, all of a mess, but um, that's the pattern. And I'm going, I'm splitting it into three separate ones. And I've showed you before, but I finished a second pattern. So the first one that I finished to go on on my little tiered tray uh, is this one right here, the Be Happy, and I put a little thing with a date on it. So my second one that's going to go with that that I finished is the Be Humble. So those two can sit on my tiered tray together and I just used like some ribbon on the bottom and some little like fun pom-poms to match to go with this one. <clears throat> so those will sit on my tray and I think they turned out pretty cute. And uh, the, there's the third one I got started. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm hoping to have it done maybe this next month so that I can just have those on display for like spring and summer. But I just barely started it. So the third one says, uh, be kind. So I started with the kind. And it's got the little B on there. Now I'm doing this on some kind of linen, which... I don't think I have the... Oh, I do. It's Embroidery Linen 46 Count the, from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have this or not. But it's very tiny. So I'm just doing one over one. And usually I do not do that. And it is super tiny. So it's kind of hard to see. But because it's such a small little pattern, it's, it's not too bad. But I'll be glad when that's done because it's a little bit hard with that teeny tiny stuff. So that was fun. Those were my first little finishes, and I think they're super cute. And the, the way I've done the pillow is I just, I, I, this is the same fabric, this is the same linen cross-stitch fabric on the front and the back. Um, so it just makes like a uniform little pillow. So I have one more of those to work on. That was my first finish. My second finish is also for that same tiered tray for Easter. So I'm running out of time. I probably won't get the second half of this done, but I did at least get the first half. However, I do not have a picture, because I don't have my my phone with that I use, my spare phone I use for um, a pattern keeper. <clears throat> so I don't have the pattern, but this pattern is a freebie on a website called Whilst Iris Snaps, I believe, and I've, I've talked about it before in the past, but it's a little freebie and it has a couple different patterns there's bunnies and carrots um, so I finished the first little pattern and I made it into a little pillow again for that tiered tray so this is just a free pattern from whilst I iris naps or is it sleeps I think it's naps so I did this little thing I did not have the correct thread I think it called for like specialty floss so I just pulled random colors um, and variations of gray and brown. But I think it turned out really cute. I I don't have any of that um, that floss that is like kind of poofy or like hairy that you can brush. I I saw somebody talk about it and 
just thought that would be so cute to do the little tails in and I wish I had some of that to give it like extra like fiber fun but anyways it's just I just use like a regular DMC so I put a little trim around it and then the back has these carrots so I just thought that was a cute little thing to go on my shelf and the second one that goes with it <clears throat> is some carrots and I just barely started this one there's there will be three carrots with different patterns um and so hopefully it'll probably be done next year but probably not this year for easter <clears throat> but i just thought it was super cute and this is oh gosh i don't know exactly what this is this is another uh hobby lobby fabric that i just had a scrap of and so i just used that uh, maybe let's see oh it's Okay, it's a 28 count even weave, light blue even weave from Hobby Lobby. So 28 count, and I just did two over two. So I thought that would be a cute little set when I get that done. So that was my other finish. So those are tiny, but I, I was excited that I actually got something fully finished because, um, like I said, I didn't feel like I had really done that much. So those are my finishes. Oh, wait, no, I have another finish. Okay. We'll go with like new starts, so and and but it, well, I also finished one, so I'm not supposed to be doing new starts. I'm in this no new starts group, but I've kind of just been like, eh, I don't have time to keep up on this like Facebook thing. So <clears throat> I technically like have not actually gone against the rules because I was allowed new starts, so I'm still within the rules of it, but I probably am giving up anyways. I don't want to start a ton of new things this year. But if I start something, I want to finish it. So I got in some haul from a, a sale from a while ago that just took like a month to get my stuff. And I'm still waiting on a couple items. But one of the things that I got, I started and I finished. And it's this Mill Hill Spring Bouquet Seagull. I just think, I like, I love the ocean and I think seagulls are so cute. And so this is like one of my first very beaded pieces that I've actually like completed. So there's my little seagull guy. And I did screw him up. He miscounted somewhere in the seagull, but and like I don't know, somewhere down here, but I feel like mm, I wouldn't I don't even know where and it looks fine to me. So he's not perfect, but he's cute enough. And I just backed him with like white felt that I had. I just hot glued it, which I don't know who knows if that's gonna like yellow or whatever over time but this isn't some special keepsake uh but yeah i love the I, I love how they have these little like charms so this little opal um star is cute it doesn't really show up sparkly on here but anyways i put the magnet on the back uh one of the things growing up and always is i've always loved soft things and sparkly things and so like at Christmas my dad would always get me something soft because he knew I like soft stuff so he would get me like really soft so socks or blanket or sweatshirt or something but I always like anything that's sparkly or anything that's soft so these bead ones I really like because they're so sparkly even though you can't really tell on camera but I'll show you something else at the end of the video that is sparkly and the reason why I started is because of sparkles because I love the sparkles so anyways this one was a start and a finish, so that's my third finish for the month. So, yay! Alright, now on to other things. I will show you the other two new starts that I started. Uh, this one is pretty small, I just barely started it. I actually just started it last night because I wanted to. <laughs> There's no, like, rhyme or reason. I am not somebody that is, like, planned out of, I will do this on this day. I'm, I actually am a very planned person, but not with cross stitch. With cross stitch, I just do what I want when I want. So I've had this one, and I decided that I would start it. So this is a Dimensions Gold Kit, A Treasured Time. I know a lot of people have this, and actually it was on sale at Hobby Lobby at a lot of places. I already had it, but yeah. I know it's spring, and it's finally getting warm here, but I just like winter scenes any time of year because I think they're cute. So I don't know if I've showed this in the past... But while I'm showing you this, I will, uh-oh, my needle's tangled. I will tell you what I do. When I start these dimensions kits, their floss is so, like, wah, really long and tangly. 
And I've seen people cut it off and loop it, and probably one day I will do that. Um, I haven't spent the time doing it yet because I just would rather be stitching, but I probably will fix this at some point. But what I do do <laughs> is when I start it, I put a little hole punch up here on top of each of these so that if I have extra thread, I can just loop it back on there and I know where the color is. So I do that before I start them. And I also, because uh, the dimensions kits often have like mixed threads, um, I also throw in a, just like a regular postcard and I cut it. And that way if I need, if it's one of the like mixed threads, then I can, and I have extra because I just did two stitches or whatever. I just write the symbol down here and um, put the thread on here so that it's all organized. So that's my tip for working with dimensions. Um, yeah, let me get this back in here. Otherwise, it's going to get all tangled. Oh boy. Okay, so my start on that one, I just started in the bottom. Usually on dimensions, I start in the middle because I don't really know how long, how big their, um, their fabric pieces are, like how much along the edges you have. So I hope I'm not screwing it up, but if I run out of room, well, then I'll just cut the picture off a little bit on the edge. But I don't like starting the edges because the are in the middle because then the page there's like one half of the page and another and then I get lost where I am and so I said I'm not doing that this time so I just started in a bottom corner so I started just over here in the snow so that I can get to those little bunnies sometime soon so I started over there so not that exciting but a little start and so that was fun to do something new because I like new <laughs> so that was a new start and that was just the last new start because I literally started that last night my other new start was one that I had you guys vote on and it was a close vote a couple videos ago for my farmhouse kitchen and where did the picture go it's by soda stitch on Etsy so I showed you I finished this one I showed you in a previous video and I had you vote between one or two, one or two, of which one I should start, and two got slightly more votes, and so I started section two. I think it's pretty cute, so I've just started at the top shelf here with this basket of it, apples and the scale and everything. Is that a scale? Yeah. So I've started over there, and I just love the bright colors of Soda Stitch. I think it's turning out pretty pretty nice. This is on 28 count, just an ivory from Michaels. So it just started that top part there, and I just really love the colors. So maybe I should show you the other one that's done. I'm doing them on separate pieces so I can like frame them separately. Kind of wish I had done it on one, but oh well. Um, so there's the first one the one that goes in the middle, and here's the one I've just started. So those are fun. And I got, I worked on that for quite a while. I actually started that before and forgot to show you in the last video. So again, that's my Soda Stitch. I want so many of their patterns, but obviously I have way too many patterns already and not enough time in the day. And as we're going into spring and summer, like I'm gonna have less time because I want to grow a lot of my own food so we're doing a lot of stuff outside soon, and like I said, looking for land. So I'm not going to have a ton of stuff to show you probably in the, in the coming months, but we'll see. So now let's go on to my whips. I did Little Dove Designs Adjust Your Sales. I could probably finish this one here soon. I was focused on it for a decent amount of time. There's a lot of like backstitching in the words and stuff that I need to go back and fill in. But... I got a decent ways through this one. Oh, this is that one that I never remember to have something to back it up because it's like so see-through, but you'll just have to bear with me. So it's on this like, I think it's Witchel Winnen, which I don't like because it's like so see-through. I don't know, this is not my favorite fabric, but it works for this. So, I just think that's so cute. I really like these colors. I, this, a lot of the waves are a, one of the variegated threads. 
It's still a DMC, but it's like a variegated one, 4025. I might run out of that, so I sure hope that I can get through it without running out. But the bottom, I'm excited to get to the bottom scene. The bottom's gonna have like fish and stuff down in there, so that'll just be fun. But anyways, I got pretty far on that, and that's as big as it will be. I need to continue the border. And the border's white, and white is not my favorite thing to stitch, and neither are borders. So I'll probably work on that a little bit more, and as I do the bottom, go back and forth so I don't get bored just doing the bottom. But I, I would like to finish that one here soon if I can. I need to tell myself to just do it. Another one, I, I, I did a little bit here and there on a whole bunch of stuff, so some of it I didn't even bring out because it's like you won't even be able to tell a difference. This one you can't really tell the difference, but it's so pretty I have to show you anyways. I did move the hoop a little bit on it so I can move on, but this is a Artisy Hope Runs Deep by Chuck Pineson. I love this. I love the colors in this. This is on 20 count Ada, and I'm doing four strands tent stitch. So it's pretty thick. This was my first one that I tried doing tent stitch on because these full coverage go faster if I just do that half stitch on there. So I really like this. Love the colors of it. Um, there's more up here that's been done, but like I said, I moved the hoop, so I just kind of filled in the house a little bit. So that one I really love. And I'm, I'm, I like going back and forth between smaller things and then those really big ones. So that was my first tent stitch, and after I started that one, I realized if I was going to do full coverage, that's what I was going to do for all of them. So these next two are full coverage. This one is Heaven Earth Designs Mini Chapel in the Snow by Donna Gelsinger. I showed this last time, I believe. I got a little bit further. I started in the middle, and I just, I'm just i starting on that deer's head now. Um, so it's on the same fabric, and this is tent stitch also. And it's also four, four strands. So it's kind of fun to see that deer showing up now. There's like thousands of stitches, but it doesn't look like that much. But Oh well, I just like stitching on it a little bit and then moving on to something else and then stitching on a little bit. And hopefully one day it'll get done, but I'm having fun doing it in the meantime. Next one, same fabric. This one is Artisy. This was the one that I found out uh, Artisy could chart for me and I was so excited about. Um, Nor's Ark Landscape. I don't know if I did more since I showed you or not, so I'll just show it again for those who haven't seen, but this is the Noah's Ark. I think it's, I think his original painting is called Before the Ark, so I just love all the animals. Um, and if I, if I haven't worked on it since I showed you, well then, I guess, I guess you'll see where I was before, but, um, I started in the middle, and you kind of start to see the elephant, and then this is gonna be a lion's head. And this one, I did tent stitch, but I only did two instead of four strands. So it is like where it's darker, where that, where's the dark colors and the elephant. It You can, you know, see a little bit of the white coming through, but I think when it's all done and from far away, it won't matter. And, well, I don't care. I think it looks good enough for me. So I started in the middle. Over here and there's some lines coming in down here that are starting to show up so it's kind of fun with these like full coverage ones you're stitching and you're like oh there's just random colors and then you pull it back and it's fun to be like oh look there's like a animal or a house showing up and you, when it's so close you don't know but so that one's fun so I worked on that one a little bit I believe since I showed you last and the next start I have a few more then we'll be done with my Whoops. This one I just did a little bit on again. Um, this is Heart and Hand Blooming Tiny Town. I know she has a new one coming out in May. I think that's like the ocean one with seagulls. That one would be fun to get. But I started in the middle. I've done most of this and I went this way. So I finished, wait, no, this way. Went this way. So now I finished that little house. And this is on Country mocha I think it is um I believe it's 28 count so I also don't have specialty colors I'm just using regular DMC conversion on those here's another 
dimensions that I have worked on a little bit. Not a ton, but I did work on it and it, it never looks like as much, you know, as I feel like I did. But this is the Dimensions Gold Summer Cottage. Sorry about the reflection, but that's just the way it is. So that one's a fun summer one. I started in the middle again and I'm going like off towards this barn. So I did the roof of this barn. So there's that one. This one I think is actually on 14 count, which is larger than I'm used to for these dimensions. Normally these dimension kits are like 16 or 18 count. So um, I like that it's a little bit bigger. It's easier to stitch on. So there's that one and two more. I have a little few bags to show you. Okay, this one, I feel bad showing you because I've had multiple people ask about it and I she can't sell on Etsy anymore. This is from Made For You Stitch and it's called Garden Shelf. And I got it on Etsy, but she lives in Russia and Etsy stopped like any other Russian site. So I feel bad because she can't sell it unless... She might have her own website. You can maybe could research made for your stitch, but this is called Garden Shelf. And I just thought it was super cute. I started in the middle over here from this guy and I just was working on this uh, watering can. And this one is on Mushroom Lugana, I believe. So that's just that middle shelf there. And somehow, I don't know, stuff in here got messed up, so I'll just have to kind of fudge it as I go along, but I think it's turning out pretty good. It's pretty cute. So I hope to work on that one some more this spring. And that's a fun little pattern also. Alright, last whip is my very first one. <laughs> so it's my oldest one, and I wanted to get it done, but of course... I always look at things and think, oh, that won't take me long, and it always takes longer than there's more stitches than you realize. This one also was on Etsy from Stitching Land. I don't think they're a shop anymore, but it was called, I think, Red Flowers. I just thought it was pretty. I got this a long time ago, started it, and never finished it, and then I just recently got back into cross-stitching in the last, like, year and a half or so. So this one does not have a lot of space around the edges because I didn't realize that when I got back into it, but that's fine. I'll do something with it. But I finished quite a bit of this like third quarter over here. So I pretty much only have another quarter left. And I should finish it because it's pretty and I like all the colors and it's good for spring. And this is just on another 14 count eight up, probably from Michael or something. Um, just a white. So that one's fun too. And I hope to get it done because it's really, really old. So those are my whips. So if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. So I'm going to show you, I have new bags that I put up into my shop. Thank you guys for, for supporting my Etsy shop. You guys have been great and I'm loving um, getting all this fun fabric and making bags for you. I know so many people have said they're happy and they love the bags. And um, so yeah, it's fun to know that I'm, I'm a little piece of me is with you while you're stitching. So anyways, I made some new ones for spring. I have a couple, a couple Christmas ones too because why not? So this, this, I have two different styles of bag. We'll show you my Christmas one first because this is like a basic, the basic bag, basically. <laughs> okay, so it has a little gingerbread and Christmas cookies and stuff and it's just so cute. So this style of bag has a clear vinyl front and they're pretty big too. I mean, it will definitely hold a full piece of paper. Uh, so clear vinyl front, this would be like my original like a basic bag design. Then the other ones are my deluxe bags and I have the most of these right now. So the deluxe bag has like a faux leather front and a faux leather back. It's gusseted so you have space and then it has an extra pocket in the front. This pocket does not go all the way down it goes to like about right here um, but it's plenty of room for stuff. You know, if you want to put your scissors in there or your thread or separate it or put snacks or something different in there. And then it has the main large compartment as well. So these are have been really popular. This one is the new, uh, I think it's like eucalyptus print. So there's that one. This one's new, the gingerbread one. There's a sewing 
one. This has like a dark brown. It kind of looks black, but it's like a dark brown faux leather. I thought that was super cute. This one is fun. I missed Valentine's Day on it, but I think this could be any time for those cat lovers out there. I mean, little retro kitties. So cute. I had one of these up before and it sold. This was, I think, a different color of vinyl that I put on here, but here's another mouse one. If you saw the mouse one before and it sold and you wanted it, I've made another one. I'm going to save my favorite for last. This one I love too. I love these, this floral. Uh, with this light tan. There's peaches or oranges. One, I think they're peaches, but maybe they're oranges. Anyways, that's cute. These other ones I think I showed you last video, but I'll show again in case I didn't. Really love this large floral for those gardeners like me. That one's fun. There's another gardening print, but a smaller print. Another one because it's spring and garden season. And look at I me, mean, it's got birds and butterflies. So cute. And the other ones I've definitely shown you, but just to show you again in case you haven't seen, there's a lemon one. Bunnies for Easter. And the butterflies. This one sold out and I made a new one. And my last one is my favorite because I just think it's so cute. <gasps> this is retro. Retro one. So, I mean, this retro dive-in, Mia's Diner. I love this one. Again, it's got that dark brown faux leather. So those are the new bags in the shop. If you're in the market for a guide for your crushes projects, then check out my shop. I'll leave the link below. It's uh, just on Etsy, Reese Pieces, similar to my name here. So I have a couple more things to show you. One is a small, well, not that small, of a haul, and then the last little craft I started working on. So if you're in any like Facebook group or something, I'm sure you've already seen this, but Hobby Lobby was clearancing out stuff and they might still have some. You might check out your Hobby Lobby because they might still have some where you are. But they were clearancing out some of the cross stitch stuff and so I had to run in and see what they had. So I did find some 28 count cashew linen white and it was $2.99 so I have no I just it's just going into my stash I have no like pattern for this right now but just had to get it uh this 14 count Yorkshire it was like $1.12 so I had to get that and this Murano 32 count I've used the lighter color and I I really like it so they had the dark blue one on sale and so I thought well I might as well get that too this one is interesting I don't know I've never worked with this before but it's 14 count Ada and it's got like gold sparkle in it this camera doesn't really show but it's got sparkle in it and it was like a dollar or something so why not and the last fabric i got was a 22 count hardanger so i've never used that but i figured three dollars it's a giant piece that's so like 29 by 36 so that would be fun too. So there's that one. And I did get one pattern. My Hobby Lobby did not have as many patterns as I've seen other people's get. A lot of people have gotten some really great uh, dimensions kits there. But mine mine only had one that I was interested in. So I got this, that like truck stocking. And it was only $4.99. So that was fun. So if you haven't gone to Hobby Lobby, um, they might have clearance stuff in your store and you should check it out. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I told you I ordered that sea, little seagull guy online. And I got a couple other things. I got some threads, which I don't have right here, but they were just threads. Um, and then I got a couple kits. And, well, I guess this kit I didn't get. I already had, but I'll show you anyways. Uh, and then I'm waiting on two more kits. So when they come, I'll show you. But I do have this one. I might have showed you this before because this didn't actually come here with this haul. But I pulled it out anyways, I guess. So there's that one. Uh, then I got this Winter Barn by Mill Hill. So, like I said, I like to do these little things in between doing the big full coverage. And then I got this one. My kids love catching butterflies, and they run around. We have, like, not quite an acre out here, so they go out in the field, and they just run and catch butterflies, and they love to catch swallowtails. And so I think I'll probably make this. This comes with a magnet. So it has, like, you know, all the beads and everything. It comes with a magnet, but I'll probably turn it into an ornament for my son's Christmas tree cause, because he always catches swallowtails, so... That's fun, and I'm going to take this on a trip I'm going on here soon and try to do that on the plane. So maybe I'll have this done as a finish soon. We'll see. So that's all my stitchy stuff. Thank you for sticking around. There's one more thing if you're interested. I learned about a new craft, um, and it, it's sparkly, and so that's why. So I'll just show you real fast. So it's kind of like cross-stitching, but it's 
um, like diamond painting or diamond art. So I got one from, what is this called? Oh, Diamond, Diamond Art Club or something. I don't know, I kept seeing ads and finally they got me. So you get these tiny little diamond things and they are sparkly and shiny and you use a little pen and you stick them on to the painting to make this beautiful painting and I just thought this was so cute and a fun spring picture and so I got this and it is way bigger than I thought it was going to be did not have an idea that it was this huge because I'm bad with measurements online I guess but I've done like this whole side over here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see how sparkly it is but man it's so sparkly and there's like this flower it's not gonna show up it has like these extra really sparkly ones I don't know I've been having fun just like sitting at the table and putting these sparkly things on here and looking at how sparkly and beautiful it is but it does take quite a while and um yeah I don't know I thought it was fun I thought it was springy and I liked it and so I got started doing that but that has taken some of my stitchy time away so anyways that's fun if you've never looked into that those are those are fun too the only problem is I have to like sit at a table and it's big and so I can't kind of take it anywhere which is what I'm used to I can't you usually take my stuff wherever and like if my kids are sitting out or playing outside I can sit outside and kind of stitch a little bit this is like harder to do so because it has to be like flat on this table but anyways it's been fun and yeah thank you for stopping by and watching if you liked this video give me a thumbs up that helps me out and hopefully i'll be back soon with more more sharing i'm going on a plane so hopefully i'll have time to stitch on the plane soon and yeah anyways thanks for joining me guys i'm having fun sharing with you and i'll talk to you next time bye